All right, for question number 20, we're going to be taking a look at how to calculate the half-life um, amount given um, a table, okay? Question 20 reads, sodium iodide-131 used to treat certain medical conditions has a half-life of 1.8 hours. The table below shows the amount of sodium iodide-131 uh, rounded to the nearest thousands as the dose fades over time. So we're looking at radioactive decay here. All right, question, what approximate amount of sodium iodide-131 will remain in the body after 18 hours? Okay, so what we need to remember here is the formula for half-life. Let's go ahead and write down what the formula is, formula for half-life calculations. So the formula for half-life calculations is the final amount A is equal to A sub zero, the initial amount times one over two, because we're dealing with half-life, raised to the time divided by the half-life. Bam. Okay. So in this particular problem, um, all we just need to know is the initial amount, the time, and the half-life. And we are good to go, okay? Let's specify what each component mean, components mean so that um, it's easy to follow. So A is the final amount. A sub zero is the initial amount, what you started with. Uh, T is the time. And T sub one half is your half life. Okay, all right, so in this particular problem, uh, we need to start by finding what A sub zero is. A sub zero is the initial amount. Um, but if you look at this table, it tells us the amount after a uh, one hour or so. It says number of half life. so after the first half life. So after the first half life, there's 139. After the first halving. So, can you figure out what the initial amount is? The answer is yes. If you divide something by 2 and you get 139, how do you undo that division by 2? To undo division by 2, you simply multiply by 2, right? Because the inverse of division is multiplication. So, since the first halving results in 139, we're just going to take that and double it, okay? So, 139 times 2 will give us 278. So the initial amount was 278. 278. All right, looking good. Now, the time, where it says how, many, how much sodium iodide 131 will there be after time of 18 hours? Was the half-life of sodium iodide the half-life we're told is 1.8 hours, okay? So 1.8, and then what's the amount? That's what we're looking for. All right, so put everything into the formula, and we have A sub zero, 278 times one over two raised to the time 18 divided by 1.8, the half-life. Okay, so you need to be careful about how you enter this into the calculator. One little mistake will totally ruin your result, all right? We want to make good use of parentheses here to communicate exponential terms and basis and coefficients with the calculator. Remember, our calculator um, calculators are not mind readers, so we're going to make sure that we are precise. Okay, so we have 278 times 1 divided by 2, put that 1 half in the bracket. This is the base of an exponent. What is the exponent? The exponent is a quotient, so encapsulate that in its own parentheses, 18 divided by 1.8, so that there are no grouping errors in the calculator. All right, press enter, uh-oh, press enter. 0.271 rounded to um, the third decimal place, all right? So the amount left is approximately 0 0.271. The answer to question number 20 is option number three. 
All right, so a question for you that I would like to think you to think about is if you take a look at this model right here, how can you tell that this is a decay model? Can you or can you not tell? Let us know what you think. Post your uh, response in the comment section below and tell us if you just take a look at this model right here, can you tell if it's a decay model? Yes or no? And let us know why you selected the answers that you did. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your preparation for the upcoming Regents exam, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is extremely important to us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to the remainder of this review series. If you have any questions, comments, or special requests, feel free to post it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to respond. A lot more resources can be found at our website, matgotserve.com under New York Regions. Do check it out. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.